Hello there, this is uh, Thomas from InvestmentExcel.com. Today I will take you through a very popular concept in uh, theory and uh, in particular in practical application of uh, fixed income finance. The interest rate sensitivity measure, more call it duration. We will look at uh, the yield to maturity and the present value and how the Macaulay duration is calculated and how it is applied. This video and the underlying Excel book uh, are both available on the sites investmentexcel.com and spotterfile.com. Let's start with the concept in a very simple cash flow framework. <coughs> First we see here from the formulas, formulas perhaps a little bit intimidating but they are really not uh, what they show is just the way the Macaulay duration is calculated as an interest rate sensitivity so basically the Macaulay measure is an elasticity so it says what is the percentage change in the present value of the bond given a percentage change in the interest rate of the bond and the interest rate is always the yield to maturity so the the fixed flat curve interest rate for the bond here on the right side we see how it is implied in practice applied in practice what we do is to calculate for each cash flow the present value of that particular cash flow and multiply it with the time uh, at, on which this cash flow um, folds and divided by the total present value of the cash flows. All right, let's start by showing how we calculate with a few numbers the Macaulay duration. So we start here with five cash flows, five periods with uh, equal spacing, so five years. Each year we have a cash flow of 1,000 dollars and calculate the discount factor for each time period and remember because we're using yield to maturity it's the same yield to maturity that applies to all discount factors in this case three percent so the present value we see here for each cash flow and the total ca the total present value here for four thousand five hundred seventy nine in order to calculate the the measure we need the present value weight, so the relative present value for each cash flow uh, on each cash flow time. So this is what I do here, simply by dividing the PV of, say for instance, the first cash flow by the total cash flow and so on. Of course that adds to 100. So the only thing remaining to calculate the measure is just to multiply each of the weights with the corresponding time so here so simply simply the c colon times the g colon and we add up according to this measure and get 2.95 what does that mean <clears throat> the macaulay duration is not a percentage measure as is the interest rate sensitivity modified duration it's it's a yearly or actually a period periodical uh, measure but in this case where we have yearly periods it says that for a given shock in the underlying uh, YTM it's, it takes 2.95 years to recover uh, the loss in case of an interest increase or uh, on the other hand if the interest rate falls it takes 2.95 years to, to, to get down to that level again. I will just show it here where we have first future value of our investment of 4.79 without the shock in this case of course it increases by 3% which is the assumption so the cash flow increases to a little bit more than 5000 with this refinancing rate the flat the flat interest rate let's say we make a shock of 1% interest rate goes up by 1% what happens there is a one-off fall or decrease in the present value 
from 4.5 to 4.4 and we see here the refinancing rate is now 4% so clearly the position without without the shock has a higher initial value but it increases gradually with a lower refinancing rate so obviously at some point there must be a break even a break even that corresponds to this particular trade off between the the these two effects between the PV and the refinancing rate and this break even in years is exactly just after 2.95 years and we can see it from the table here we see without the shock the blue one is higher 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 all the way out to 2.94 years where the the value of the portfolio is exactly equal to the one that would have been uh, the case if there was not a shock and after that it's better to be in the portfolio with the higher uh, refinancing rate so the learning from this is that yes when you when you have a claim on future fixed uh, cash flows it's you will you will see a decrease in your in your value of your wealth when interest rate goes up but as time goes you will actually gain because this interest is higher than the one that you had before so the refinancing rate is uh, effectful this is basically what Macaulay duration is about is uh, the interest rate sensitivity measuring measuring how much risk you have in in the portfolio in terms of a measure in years where there is a break even let's see how it works on a bond I have taken a 20 year bond it's it settled in 2015 and matures in 2039 it's a Danish bond in this case with a yearly coupon 4.5 one cash flow a year and it's a bullet so only fixed cash flows all the way uh, only fixed coupons all the way to maturity where there's both a, both a principal to be paid 100 and of course a coupon what I'll try to show is the Bloomberg the financial terminal Bloomberg's calculation of duration of this particular bond we can see here some specifics on the bond and this is the same Danish government bond four and a half, fifteen, eleven, two thousand and thirty-nine, and we see. Oh my goodness, we see here in the yellow. If I can change this, I cannot. Okay, here, here we can see the duration of the bond, the, the Macaulay duration, so seventeen point two two seven, quite high duration because it's a very very long bond. And the way we can try to replicate this is first. To assume exactly the same the same yield to maturity because it has to be Macaulay's Macaulay measure is based on the yield to maturity implicitly in the pricing of the spot price up here and the accrued interest so I'll just try to to price the yield to maturity and luckily it turns out to be 1% which is also the price uh, in Bloomberg it says here 1% so now we're actually ready to, to calculate the the Macaulay duration the same way as we did in the simple cash flow so start by start by calculating the weights we have calculated already the present value present value is up here um, so now just remains to calculate all the relative weights on the cash flows and we see because it's a bullet the main uh, the main weights main weight is on the last on the last cash flow the main risk and then we time it by the weight by the time and again we see here all risk is almost on the last cash flow because of the principle of 100 and then we just sum and this is what we get Macaulay duration in years 17.27 and this of course luckily again is the same as the one calculated by Bloomberg so in this case it says that it would take 17 years to to recover 
uh, a loss from an interest rate increase uh, here and now. So, but after that, you will gain uh, more. You gain. Uh, you'll, you will have a better position than before with one percent. So, if we go from one percent to two percent, we'll clearly take a big loss. We will go from exactly one hundred seventy-eight to one hundred and fifty, and that will be recovered in seventeen point two seven years. So this was the Macaulay duration on this bond. In, the, in this sheet you can easily change all the input figures of the particular bond you want to analyze, um, both with uh, compounding and maturity and settlement and so on. Also if you have a different uh, cash flow structure, not just a bullet structure but also a serial or annuity mortgage bond structure, you can type it in here. The only thing that is not available here is uh, mortgage bonds with options, but you can find that in an, in a, another workbook on investmentexcel.com. So that is basically about it. So you just have time to just look here. So we see the sheet, we have the coupon, we have the yield curve, which is the yield curve level that the cash flow has to be priced on and it's because it's the YTM, it's 1% all the way, corresponding to this, this discount yield or discount factor, the repayment zero all the way to the last maturity where we, where we uh, pay all principal, the coupon all the way and the outstanding amount is 100 just until the last day where hopefully you get your money back. So total CF is the sum of those. Calculate the present value on the YTM curve. So multiply multiply K with K colon with G. Calculate the weight. Multiplies sum the multiplications and get the Macaulay duration and you have the measure um, exactly. Thank you.